Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with a Valentine's Day project. So you guys seem to really love my little no so gnomes. I have made them for Easter, I made them for Christmas, I made them for Halloween, and now I've made them for Valentine's Day. Lily loves them. You may notice that one, two, three, my three little ones are the same ones that I made for winter because I use the same... <laughs> same materials for the winter and the Valentine's Day gnomes. So I only made two additional ones, the two big ones with the pink hats for Valentine's Day and then I mixed in the three little gnomes which honestly works really well. Um, I don't necessarily need five individual gnomes for Valentine's Day. And so this is a good, this is a good compromise. Um, the two big ones I made with this cute little heart bow and a Cupid bow on the end. And I made the bows with my crickets. And then the Valentine's Day gnomes I made with the socks and hats and the cute little berry noses. So if you want to see how I made these gnomes with my hot glue gun, Go ahead and watch the video. I will show you exactly how to make them in whatever size you like. And if you want to know how to make the bows, I will leave a link for that video below because um, I did do them in separate videos. Otherwise, this would be really long. Either way, we're going to get started with the gnomes right now. All right, y'all. So if you've been here before, you have probably seen me make a no-so gnome out of fuzzy socks. But it's Valentine's Day. We've got cute new bows, felt bows. I will put the video for how I made these down below. And we are going to make Valentine's gnomes. I'm so excited. So from, I, from the same pack as my winter gnomes, I have these two socks left with these cute pink ruffs. And if you watch my winter gnome video, I had folded down the ruffs to make like ruffs of the hat. So I thought these would be really cute. And we are going to make some white and pink with this kind of dark pink glitter gnomes today. So we are going to start by putting our gnome bodies together. And then I will show you how to do the hats and the beards and put it all together for one big gnome. So we get this fabric out of the way. We are going to make two really big gnomes today. So start off, we're going to cut off this pom-pom. Now, you can totally leave the pom-pom on, but we don't need it here. And we may or may not use this as the nose. I also have some cute little glitter berries that I use for my winter gnomes. They're not quite the same color as this though. So I'm not 100% sure once we get it all together, which nose will look cuter. start with we're just gonna fill everything up so I just use a measuring scoop I find that is the best way to kind of keep everything as clean as possible although Spilled some rice making these gnomes, that's for sure. The main problem with these socks is cutting that little ball off. It gives us a little hole. And, uh, and I kind of spill rice out of it all the time. Sounds like my doggos are not thrilled in the backyard. Oh, there we go.
tie these babies off. Once you get it tied in a knot, I just kind of dirty rice. It's already socks. That was a brand new sock. I think it was the rice. Like I said, it was the very bottom of the barrel, and there was this weird brown, like cinnamon dust in the bottom of the rice. Makes me think maybe last time mom had cinnamon in that box or container. It was one of those plastic storage containers. Yeah. Either way, I'm just going to snug those ruffs down and now our little gnomes have cute little pink ruffs. Let's go ahead and make their um, hats. All right, so for gnome hats, you're going to take our fabric, we're going to lay it down, and we're going to put our gnome right on the edge here. Perfect. I try to line it up with where the actual hat is going to rest, and then I just kind of turn them over, and I pull that fabric tight around them, and I'm going to measure just a bit past where that seam is because we're gonna do a line of hot glue to hold that hat together. So now we're just gonna cut a straight line all the way up. You may not need to go all the way up, but my fabric is pretty short, so I'm not 100% either. This will be enough fabric for one gnome hat, or I'm hoping two, and I can make both out of the same cut. I think it's, it's going to be long enough because that's, I mean, that's a pretty long gnome hat. We'll find out. We'll find out. So now you're going to go ahead and glue it. So start by folding it in half. And now we're going to put hot glue, line of hot glue, as continuous as possible, because we need a, we don't want a bunch of huge gaps all the way down. And then fold it over and press it down. Perfect. Keep going since this is long. Gotta do the bottom and the top. I need more hot glue. And you could sew this if you are so inclined, but this is the no sew part of the no sew knows. I don't want to sew it. <laughs> There's no reason to. Hot glue works. You could also use like fabric fuse or something like that. Alright. Looks like I went off book a little up here. That's all right. We're going to scrunch the top of our hats up anyway, so it's not like they have to be perfectly symmetrical. I'm just going to kind of squish this over. Now's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead, even this out a little at the bottom. Mm 
this is the part that's going to go right around his little hat so we do want that to be a little straighter now we're gonna kind of fit it down over the top oh yeah definitely long enough to be more than one hat so oh yeah two hats is a hundred percent possible so we're gonna go ahead and just cut them in half right there's half right here And I'm making two identical gnomes because that's the fabric that I have and the socks that I have and and all. But you'll see when I show you the whole set. I'm going to put these with some of the just regular bow gnomes I made for Christmas. Um, you can change up the fabric for the hat or the fabric for the sock or the color of the felt bow. There's a lot of different things you can change to make these gnomes look really different. I'm kind of excited about the white and pink because those are my colors. Valentine's Day is definitely like the right time of year for me. All right, so now we've got our hats on, snug as a bug. See how cute those ruffs are? We're gonna go ahead and glue them down. You can go all the way around like perfectly, but I find you don't need to so much with the hats. Usually a couple places to keep them intact is good. This fabric kind of rolls automatically, but if it's not a fabric that rolls, I just kind of tuck it under a little so it has a natural hem and it's not um, not the jagged cut edges. One gnome down, two to go. Now let's do their beards. Do, 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 do. All right, so for beards, you want to measure from ear to ear. And that is how wide you need it to be. Then you want the tip to be about here because there's going to be hair that comes down below it. So we're going to cut ours about here. So for cutting, get this situated so I could show you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just notch it right here so I know where to cut. You can use your scissors, you can use whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use this uh, letter opener. And I'm gonna make a part from the bottom to the cut here. There's my part. So now I'm just going to cut in that ditch down to the bottom of my part. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. This is how you keep these long flowing locks at the bottom of your gnome beard. Otherwise, if you just cut straight, you will cut all of this off. He will not have a long flowing ends to his beard. There 
There we go. One long flowing gnome beard. Keep wanting to say nerd beard. Coming up. Just kind of comb it all out. You might have lost a little few tufts of hair doing that, so you want to comb those out. But that's basically it. And see if we had just cut straight down, we would have lost anything below this line. So all these tips of hair, we would have lost those. And those are kind of important for our gnome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this back and we're gonna glue them in place. Start with the middle. Come over do the end da, 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 da. perfect other side you can do more but usually this is all you need for the beard and then when we push that top down like this his long flowing locks. He's so cute already. All right. Ready? All right, so we are almost done with these guys. We are gonna now go ahead and do the hats. Start by tying off the tops. I'm just using a bit of yarn. You can use something fluffier and make a bow, but I tend to just kind of like to tie them off so that they scrunch. If that makes sense. When I'm doing these tall scrunchy hats, I like them to scrunch down around the gnome's ears. I'll, I'll send, I'll put a link, I'll send, I'll send you a link. I will put a link in the description. I also made, have made, um, for my Easter gnomes, cone-like hats that are not slouchy, that are tall and pointy with cute little bunny ears, but you could make them without the bunny ears if you're not looking for Easter gnomes. But I kind of have been loving the slouchy hats this year. They're just so cute. All right, so now, Slouch them down, slouch them down. They don't really slouch well until they are stood up, but I still like to try because then it's easier to determine kind of where the bows should go. Usually, there's a bow at the top and a bow at the bottom. I think this one's gonna have to be the top bow because he, these little guys are gonna come down into his face otherwise. So, Put some hot glue on the back. As you know, that's what we do. Right on his hat, oh, he's so cute. Okay. Ooh, how cool got me at the last second. And then this little guy, I think will look cute over his face. I want me to determine where that's gonna be. It's gonna be right here. This is super cute. All right, so now, last but not least, we have to do their noses. Sorry, I'm playing with the gnome beards. 
it's a little addictive. But mainly I get hot glue on my hands and then I get the gnome hair on my hands and yeah. So these are the berries I was talking about and they make the cutest noses. They're not quite the same color and I'm not sure how much that matters. Doesn't matter at all. They are super cute. So as you can see, these were literally berries on like a pick of berries from the floral section. And I just cut them in half. I'm just tucking them under here to be little no noses. You can get them in all different colors. It was like $2 and I have a whole pick of them. All right, so last but not least, while those, I mean, these are done, I have all these little hearts that were cut out of this bow. And so I was trying to decide, like, do I add them to something? I think I, I was gonna put them all over his hat, but I think that'd be too much. I do think one down here would be cute. Oh, or maybe on the gnome. Is that cute? Does that look like he's blushing? I think that looks like he's blushing, guys. Kinda think I love it. Oh yeah, oh that's it. Is that cute or is that stupid looking? I kind of like it better on the hat, I think. Oh, I thought it was gonna be really cute. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't as cute as I wanted it to be. We're going right there. All right, let's go put these with their little gnome friends. See how cute our little gnome family will be. I hope you loved them as much as I do. I really actually like the very noses up here. Um, and I was worried about all the different pinks, but I think all the different pinks do work together. Um, sometimes one pink is best, but if you have all different pink materials, different shades can work together too, as long as they're not completely different tones. So in this case, I like how it turned out. Um, I am going to be showing you how I made my little love is the key it was supposed to be a wreath, but I wanted to put it over my gnome. So wreath slash sign. If you want to check out that video, I will leave a link below. But for today, we're just doing the gnomes. I hope you liked them. And I will leave links for all my other gnomes down below. And then just leave me a comment um, on what kind of gnomes you want to see next. because. I don't know. I feel like I need them for every holiday now. I kind of always put them over on this little display on my secretary and I like them over here. So maybe St. Patrick's Day gnomes, but we're kind of past that. Fourth of July. Ooh, red, white, and blue. That can be fun. Either way, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.